Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird. Yeah, because I think it might show a cutscene. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. This is Zoidberg. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So I guess we're just fucking right into it. Yeah, I guess so. And you're dead. Yeah, horse, yeah. Uh, I f again, I forgot. Okay, so. <laughs> We started a new episode, or a new session, uh... The only thing that lets Zoidberg ride. I had forgotten that the... Yeah. yeah. I had forgotten that the A button wasn't jump. Jump, you son of a... Good job. This reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause it real quick, because... Basically, um... You probably saw the end of the last episode what happened with, you know, the professor and all that. Yep. Okay, so basically, uh, the crew finds this planet that they were heading to uh, called Bogad. Yep. And they found the professor's mentor, Adoy, which spelled backwards is... Yoda. Yoda. So, basically, he they find out he has this time machine, so they want to go back in time to go and stop Mom from buying Planet... Planet Express so she doesn't take over the Earth. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't get the machine to power up, so Zoidberg randomly appears on the planet, so he has to ride this creature all the way to the generator to turn it on in time, or something. He's probably riding it for more reasons than that. Yeah, that too. Oh, uh, like when they go inside Fry and he comes riding in on the sperm, he's like, you'll never guess where I've been! Yep. Evidently, I'm just not very good at this level, but whatever. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I might as well. Never know until you try. Well, I'm trying. That's my philosophy, oh. and you did a great job. Not really. You did better than last time. At least it saves your progress a little bit. So yeah, a little bit. Start but from the beginning. Still, I'm not even close to like. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I thought you didn't make it at that. Yeah, I didn't think I'd make it either. Son of a bitch. Yeah, this is... <laughs> I fucking was pressing the button down. Oof. Yeah, this is very Crash Bandicoot-y, which... It's kind of foreshadowing. Yeah, because... We're going to be uh, playing Crash Bandicoot someday. God fucking damn it. One day we will. Yeah, because I want to get the uh, the insane trilogy for the PS4. You know, I've only played one Crash Bandicoot. I've never game. played any of them. I've only seen them like my cousins used to play it. So I watched them play it when I went over to their house because they never let me play their games. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, they kind of did later. One of them would let me play as GameCube, which is why I wanted a GameCube of my own, but I didn't get one until like 2006. When the Wii already came out, so. And that reminds me of um, when I was a little kid. Like my little brother's age, I used to always go to. So, my biological father, he had his, um, his best friend. And I used to play with his best friend's kids. And we played SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. And the only character I will play was Brock Lesnar. Which seems reasonable. Yeah, and, and now I'm older, and my little brother is just like me. He's just playing Brock Lesnar, but he cannot pronounce his name for life of him when he was a little kid. Ooh, fuck! How does he pronounce it? When he was a little kid, he used to always call Brock Lesnar oh. Bork Laser. Bork. Like, oh, I want to be Bork Laser. Like, so, like, how the internet pronounces yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Bork so now laser. he says that. I'm like, really, Lennon? I'll try. Yeah, this is. Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird. Yeah, this is a really tough. I think when the meter gets to that line, you that's like a checkpoint. And you don't have to start all the way back to the beginning. Because all you have to do is jump. That's it. Yeah, Zoidberg looks like he's enjoying that a little too much. Yes, he is. Oh, I didn't notice that branch there. Yeah, this this is kind of a pain in the ass. I have beaten this level. I know I have. I believe you. But that was like years ago and on the PS2. But yeah, no, I always want. I loved the GameCube ever since I played it at my cousin's house. And I always wanted one. But I got one eventually. Whoa, I never. 
owned a GameCube. Or... And now I don't even play the GameCube. I just play everything on the Wii. I played the GameCube before. The only game I ever played on there, though, was... Um... Resident Evil. Yes. Really? Yep. Oh, I was just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. I can't remember the game, but it was... That's um... what you get for, f for fucking with me. I can't remember... It was like a Mario game, like Mario Star. Super Mario Sunshine? Yes. Oh, I have that. Oh, you do. You know, Zoidberg. My tacos. <laughs> it's just that jump is so close. All of the jumps are close. You know, I forgot the jump. I did. I did, Tia put it back. I think, I think, I saw a pooty cat. A pooty cat? Yes. Kitty, why did you run from me? I wanted to sing you a song. Damn it, man, I'm trying to focus here. Hello, little kitty! Why the fuck are you running? Damn it, man, I'm, I'm trying to focus here. Hello, little kitty! <laughs> I just love that, like, the cat's desperation to get away just increases as the, as the guy gets louder and closer. Yes. It's like, I need to get the fuck away from this guy. Ah, okay. Oh. Yeah, I was right. You motherfucker! It's a spider web. Yeah, tell that to Marie. She'd probably have the same reaction as Oakberg. Yeah, Marie. we watched uh, Kong Skull Island last night because the three of us were recording. And, uh... Okay. Okay. And, uh, I forgot. I legitimately, really, truly forgot that there was a scene where the army guys battled a humongous daddy long legs. And basically, Marie went into a, a fear cocoon. As soon because she's just she's terrified of spiders. Yeah, she's arachnophobic. Yeah, and uh, I felt so fucking bad because <laughs> I legitimately forgot about the spider thing. Cause it's only the one part. And I'm not. I'm scared of mainly spiders that are poisonous. Yeah. Any other spider, I'm fine with. Like black widows and brown recluse and wolf spiders, I'm terrified of. Yeah, the only black widow you're not. In afraid of a Scarlet Johansson. Oh no, I would I would love that black I'd let her mate with me and then murder me. You know Zoidberg? Yeah, sometimes he just doesn't want to jump. It's the thing that sucks is like sometimes they drop you right before you're supposed to jump. Like right there. Yeah. Like you have to hit it like perfect. Are you fucking me? Not right now. Don't, I'm not. Don't answer that question. Too late. <laughs> Yeah, I would avoid the green plants. I feel like someone's controlling me. And it's not Don't be me. a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get. For being a smart ass. It's better than being a dumbass. <laughs> that was my comeback when I was a little kid. And my mom always called me a smart ass. You know, this is this should be easier. I mean, you think it'd be easier? You would think, but you'd also be wrong. Oh, oh thank God! <laughs> it's just gonna get harder from here, probably. Well, now that you're on the fucking forest moon of Endor, apparently. Yeah, literally. You know? No, I don't. Please enlighten me. You know, the Zoidberg. <laughs> I swear, I, I'm in the mood for some. I'm in the mood for some lobster tails. You right all now. still have Zoidberg. <laughs> <laughs> What's free? Oh, is the bread free? Yes. We'll split an order. <laughs> Whoop. I didn't have the heart to tell him. It's fin rot. Oh, he'll be floating upside down in a week. <laughs> that was my Zoidberg impression, in case that wasn't Oh, yeah, that was a good impression. Yeesh! You what? almost made it. Yeah, almost. But I imagine you had to start all the way from the beginning from this. I don't know, and I don't want to know. Luckily, you have a whole minute. 
I don't understand the whole extra life thing. You don't have like a num set number of lives. Not Shouldn't either. it like add 30 seconds to the clock or something? That's what I think. I saw an electrical cable there. I was afraid I was going to get killed by it, but I'll try it. Right oh, of course it puts you way the fuck back here. No, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is hunk dory. Everything is awesome when you're part of it. I don't remember the rest of the song. Don't even dare. And I am Zoyberg's tongue. Ooh! Oh, there you go. Don't ask me how I did that. <laughs> it's like, here you go, I never want to play this stupid game again. Boo! Your level is bad, then you should feel bad. <laughs> Oh, th that's a boy. Oh. Yeah, because we, when we cut the footage last time, we didn't do the cutscene. Because I thought when we booted the game up again, it would show the cutscene, but it didn't. Because reasons. Yep. But this time now, we'll trying to find Olos No. On solo. What? Oh. Oh, los... No. <laughs> you made me use up too much of my brain. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, friends. Hello. Forever alone. Hello. Poor Zoidberg. He had the worst level in the game. Uh, except for Lila's. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we uh, lost the end of uh, Lilo's campaign because... Oh yeah, we lost it. The episode went over 20 minutes and for whatever reason this thing can't handle it past 20 minutes. But... Uh, but it's okay because yeah. god, that level was garbage. Yeah, you, you guys don't want to see that level. It was, yeah. it was hot garbage. No pun intended because she was on the sun. Yeah. She was on the sun? Yeah, remember she was on the sun in that last level? I know, but you said she was on a sun. I'm oh, sorry, she was on the sun. Well, there's more than one star. I know, but, you know, technically, if you're having sex with a man, you are on someone's sun. So. Do you know what? That is true. You know, there's ladies watching this episode, and like, I'm going to say that to my man now. I doubt that anybody's going to say that. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell So, in case mother. you were wondering why the ship was all destroyed when the game started. Well, no. at least now we know who trashed our ship. Oh no, it's already nine. If we want to stop Mom from having bought Planet Express in the first place, we better hurry to the ship. Now, if I understand time paradoxes, we're supposed to take the good ship and leave the bad ship behind for the original us, right? Bad behind... say again? <sighs> Just get in. <laughs> Wow, Bender was actually smart this time. For as once. soon as you sign here, Planet Express will be mine. <laughs> Did I do something funny? No, I'm sorry. I should say my evil laugh till after you sign. Okay then. Before <laughs> 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 you die. <laughs> it's a trick. You are. Once Mom gets Planet Express, she's gonna take over the Earth. And then, she's gonna turn it into a giant spaceship and take over the universe. Man, that was cool. Earth is all... I can see myself doing that. Yeah. Like... You are pretty much Fry. Yeah, pretty much. How droll. Could I talk to you three over here for a moment? A little to your left. Wonderful. That looks fun. Oh, sure, you say that now. You got this, don't you? Oh, yeah, I, I love playing as Bender and all his fucking platforming. Oh, I'll do it. You know I'm very good at platforming. Oh, you good at platforming against that thing? Don't know that I try. Initiating target practice mode. Good luck. Fuck this shit, I'm out. 